All right, guys, so we're on our way into the gym. I say we because Justin is with me because he's going to be working out with me today, right? Yes, well. I will show you where the gym is, so yeah. Yeah, we're walking to the gym. No! Yeah, so this is Justin's first time on the treadmill. How's it going? Good. Because he's not at any incline. He's just at a speed of one. That way he can get used to it because he has no idea. Get closer. Yeah, see? And keep up with it. Don't fall back. Just keep up with it. Just keep up with it. So. It's so really slow. Yeah, it's going really slow. I can speed it up. But I'm starting to really slow. See, you're falling back. You're going to fall off. I'm starting you slow so you can figure it out. Off? It doesn't go off. Until I say it goes on. Well, what that mean? Whenever we get a good sweat going. Keep going. You're slowing down. You're going to fall off. Never going to fall off. Time goes up two minutes. Yeah, keep going. We're going to do, um, we're going to do circuit training. So we're going to hit it hard on this for seven minutes. Then we're gonna go work our back fat. Let me turn this so We're gonna do intermittent today. So uh, seven minutes on a treadmill, really hard. And then I'm going to switch to uh, back fat because I'm on mission back fat this next 30 days for my back fat. Um, so we're gonna do a back fat workout. Yep, for four minutes. And then we're gonna get on the bikes for seven minutes. And then we're going to go back to back again. And then we're going to do a cool down. So we're going to turn on the music. So we'll see you guys in a minute and we'll try to film along the way. You like it? Yeah, but well after the music, like when we get to the another place, are you gonna record? No, I gotta get ready for work. Okay. Well, All right, bye so bye guys. We about to kick it in high gear. All right, guys, so I'm on here. I'm going to have a real talk with you real quick. <sighs> real talk. You see me and Justin yesterday, we were at the gym. Getting it. <laughs> so me and Justin was exercising. But I wanted to get on here. I'm going to set you up here. Turn on some light. Sorry, guys. Yeah. But wipe off the camera. Move some stuff. And get on here and just talk to you guys for a second like i commented earlier like a couple days ago on makeup shayla's video about weight loss because she lost 20 pounds and like it's this big girl oh my god you lost 20 pounds and it's so funny when fat people and i want to say i must just say fat people or bigger people we lose 20 pounds it's nothing like i've lost 70 pounds and i'm still fat like i'm at this crossroad where I know I don't want to be who I used to be. I look at some of the older vlogs and I'm like, oh, hell no. I don't want to go back there. But then <laughs> I look at me now and I'm just so disgusted with what I see, like, on a daily. Like, just disgusted with what, what I see. And it's like, I'm at this crossroad where do I keep pushing or do I go back? Or do I just stay where I'm at, you know? But it's like... <laughs> You would think 70 pounds, you're, you're, you're transformed, you look different, you're a new person. But when you have so much weight because you're almost hitting that 300 mark, you know what I mean? It's like 70 pounds, girl, you just getting started. You got a whole another 60 to go or 50 or whatever to go. And it's just like, it's never ending. And I feel that I really got off task when, when the kids got out, when Justin got out of school. Because before we were on the schedule, I dropped Justin off by 7.15, had the little kids dropped off by 7.30. I'm in the gym by 7.45. 7.45 to 8.30, I'm working it out. And then I'm getting ready and I'm going to work. And now that whole schedule is thrown off until the kids, to Justin goes back to school. So I'm really at this crossroad. Like, if you've been on a weight loss journey, do you understand where I'm coming from? do do you get it like what and how did you break through this because i'm at a point where i really don't like myself like 
I see myself and I'm like, okay, girl. Like, okay, okay, okay. But then I really like, look at the roll. Okay, so like I was telling you guys before, uh, I had to deal with Biddy and then I don't know where time went, but I'm about to go to bed. Um, I don't, I'm at this crossroad right now. And if you ever, again, got there with your weight loss, let me know. Especially for people that have so much to lose. It's like, it ain't, oh, I'm 230 pounds. I'm going to lose 80 pounds and I'm going to be fit. No, when you're almost at the 300 pound mark and you're trying to get to the 165, 175 in range, um, and sometimes smaller, shit, honey, and you looking at people that's losing 20, 30 pounds and they're like transformed and you're like 70 pounds later, you don't even feel that transform. Even though you feel it, your arms are tinier, your face slim now, your boobs is smaller, your, your waist is more, you can see your collarbone and you go like that, you can see things, you know, and you can feel your rib cage, all that, it's like, so what? Your back fat is way too much. Your stomach is still way too big. Your thighs are way too huge. It's just like, it's like, yeah, it's like you're, you're giving all you got. And even though you're giving what you got, it's not good enough because you're not getting where you want quick enough. And that's where I'm at right now. That's why I said I can't wait to just go back to school. I can fully get back in my routine because I'm at that that crossroad. Um, and my I'm telling you right now, once I go on my leave in November, and I'm going to be out for November and December, I'm going to be spending two to three hours at the gym every, well, not every day, but five days a week because I ain't going to be working. So I might as well be in the gym, cardio, weight training, everything. Like I cannot wait to that time because I'm going to be able to dedicate two to three hours a day to the gym by itself without interrupting anybody's schedule. And this is gonna be amazing because the hard part is when I was younger, all I, cared, I had to worry about was me. I didn't have any kids. I had to worry about me. I would go to work, I drive out off work, go to the gym. I used to spend three hours in the gym because I didn't have any other responsibilities. Go to work, go to the gym. Only had to worry about myself. Now I have three humans that depend on me and I'm married, you know what I mean? So it's a lot different and it's like, okay, I don't want to drop them off at school too early. Um, and I don't want to not be around them at night. And it's just like, you're putting everyone first and where do you fall in? You have to find 30 to 40 minutes you can give to yourself. So it's gonna feel really cool to be able to give those couple hours to myself because that's what's gonna help push me out of 2018 at goal. And if you guys didn't know my goal, um, I made my goal now by the end of 2018 to be in the 190s. Ultimately, I would like to be done with this, but I want to be realistic and give myself realistic expectations. So my expectations is now, instead of pushing myself saying do it by the end of August, December 30th to be in the 190s is the goal. So that's about 30 pound weight loss. I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I don't see why not. I think it's realistic. I gave a realistic timeline to myself so I can complete that. So from now to when Justin goes back to school, it's all about just finding the time to get something in 30 to 45 minutes somehow every day. Um, well, five days a week, excuse me. And when Justin goes back to school, then I can dedicate my time back into the gym and be back on a little bit more of a regular schedule program because I can do um, my gym workout and then at night do my strength training at home after the little kids go to bed because I can do it in home. So yeah, that's my plan. Um, I start my Teamy Blends challenge tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Doing 30 days on Teamy Blends. So if you want to be a part of the Teamy Blends challenge, I'll leave the information below, but I'm going to be doing my teamy blends twice a day, um, morning and night. Um, well, every other day, twice a day, and then every day with the teamy blend skinny tea uh, to help out with my stomach because my stomach is my worst enemy, and it looks like I showed you guys earlier, the worst. 
and it's the main thing I'm trying to focus on so yeah join me on that challenge um, so I love you guys I got my workout clothes sitting on the bed for tomorrow if you guys can see no you probably can't now you can right okay kind of okay my workout clothes are on the bed ready to go for in the morning because uh, after I drop the little kids off me and Justin are going to the gym again it's just I don't know I, I gotta get it together I gotta get it together I have a goal in mind an uh, end of year goal and I have to meet it so definitely join me guys on the team England challenge and this <laughs> this is life like I think people show the good part of losing weight, but people don't show the people that struggle and what's their struggle and how to break through these mental breakthroughs. Because even though I can put the side by sides and see see what's going on, all I see is mistakes when I look at myself in the mirror. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I start my Teamy Blend Challenge tomorrow. And I'll be taking you guys along with me. Um, so if I'm talking about it too much, let me know. But I'm being doing my Timmy Blends Challenge starting tomorrow. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Do this.